All right, guys, we are back to the site that most people think is a mill site. And me and EA kind of have a little bit of a, a plan today to go out and swing the detectors and try to find some stuff to see if we can date how old this place is. The thing that's kind of tricky about this is most people think, thinking that this is kind of a trough for the water to go through for the mill, it does make sense, but why would they do that when there's a creek not 50 foot away? That creek would have been where the water wheel would have been. And I don't know why this would have transported water for that mill, like I said, with the creek right there. So the whole situation is kind of odd. We're gonna metal detect around this spot, see what we can come up with. We may even go swing the detector in the cave, see if we can find some stuff from some earlier explorers. Welcome back to the cave, guys. We have came back today with metal detectors in hand and we're gonna do a bit of searching. And I'm actually right now currently looking for the oldest date that I can find that is carved on the wall. Right now, I can see one right here. Let's see if I can get it to where, I've got a brighter light today, guys. <laughs> Might be too bright, let's see. That one says Jimmy Coke, Coker. April 4th, 1946. I saw a 59 one earlier. There's another date. That is going to be 2015. You can tell that that was recently done. So somebody was here about five years ago. You really got to look at the age of the way the stuff looks engraved to be able to tell. I thought that that one was kind of neat right up there, though. That says Jack Daniels. <laughs> it looks more modern too. Uh, cool. He's got his metal detector with him. I'm gonna blind him for a second. <laughs> oh, it is slick after the rain that we've had. So I'm gonna let him find five pull tabs, and then once he does that, I'll go get my metal detector and we'll swap out. <laughs> There's the second second cavern over there. We're gonna make our way down there. A lot of these dates, can't really tell, I don't guess, but they're a lot newer because this is the first cavern where a lot of people would venture and not be scared. Usually though, the deeper you go, the fewer people have that have been there. So let's go down here and look at the dates in the second cavern. I mean, we know a lot of people have came in and out of here. The earliest date so far is 1946. So, I mean, there's a good chance that somebody crawling in and out of here had to have dropped something at some point. There's some more stuff engraved up there. Let's go check that out. Finding any more pool tabs over there? Uh, bottle cap. Bottle cap. We had a lot of people kind of give us a little bit of grief because we said that this was undocumented. And I don't know what everybody's definition of undocumented is, but my opinion is undocumented means that there is no paperwork or a paper trail or a map or you can't find it on the internet. Not necessarily that nobody has never been here. Obviously, there's probably not very many caves left anywhere that at least at some point in time somebody hasn't been in. There's a date right there. Let's see if I can hold it out for y'all. I can make out 88. Looks like it's 1988. Okay. Oh, there's a cool looking salamander. Check them out. You haven't seen that much light in a long time. There's 1952. Make it where y'all can see it a little bit better. Another salamander. There's a 1951. Right there. That one's nicely. They put that in there where you wouldn't forget about it. 1950, we're getting older the further we go. We left him down there. Hard to believe that out of the two caverns that we just looked in at all of the dates, that the oldest date that we have seen is 1944. I would have really thought we'd have seen at least a turn of the century date in here. Guess not, there's another salamander. That or it's been covered over by everybody else's graffiti through the years. You really just do not know. 
Here's your lantern piece right here. Check that out. Kind of hard to hold this flashlight and camera at the same time. But you can see where that would have been spun up or down. Hard to tell the age on it. It looks older. There's that lantern piece outside where y'all can see it. This is going to conclude this mini adventure. And we're about to go metal detect. See if we can find something a bit cooler than a rusty lantern part. Making our way back to that flat spot. And EA spotted the bottom to a jug right here or a crock. And that is a really good sign. That means that we're right in the age bracket that we want to be in. And this is probably where we're going to start detecting from this point onward. So fingers crossed. Hope we find something good. Just dug my second bullet that was fired and impacted. They definitely look older. I don't think they're Civil War age, but I would say that they're probably 1890 to 1910. It would be my guess, though I'm far from a bullet expert. But it's a good sign. There's definitely people around. We're going to keep going and see what else we can find. So I just got my first pretty cool find. I thought it was going to be garbage, but it looks like that might be a silver lighter. It may be a silver lighter. I've dug three bullets that it looked pretty old. Yeah, I know. I just dug two, and I, I was just telling everybody, I passed up so many signals right there because they were all low 60s. And I thought, well, they got to be cool taps. Dude, check this out, man. This is cool. I'm pretty sure that might be a silver lighter. Oh, goodness, dude. <laughs> That's pretty neat. The bullets, the bullets you got, what are they looking like? Let me show you what mine look like. They look like miniature three ringers. That's what mine looks like. But they're black powder. I just don't know. Uh, I'm thinking 1880s, 90s, aren't you? Yeah, That's, 1873, probably mid-June. Yeah, mine look like that too. They've been, I'm wondering if they were target practicing against the bank. I don't know, but I just lost your lighter. That's all right, it's right there. No, I get you. <laughs> i we'll have yeah, to take that are. and clean it up, but that does look silver, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That looks great. Or at least silver plated. It may not be as old as these bullets, but still a cool find. Clean the bottom off a little bit more. It's definitely not the age of those bullets. It looks like it says LMC or UMC New York, made in Japan. But still, I can literally just run my finger across it and just clean it off. So it's at least silver plated, I believe, but it may be full blown silver. Check this signal out. Solid 89, which is 50 cent piece. I'm thinking it's gonna be a piece to a can, but I wanted to do it live. Let's get the leaves back. Make sure there's no can right on top of the ground. Oh, I see it right there. Ha, got me. Some kind of aluminum screw. <laughs> oh, I really thought I had something good. That's what happens sometimes though. So here's an old grommet that I just metal detected. And it still has some of the canvas on it. Boy, it read just like a coin though. I just knew that I had an Indian head penny. And then right over here, exploring Alabama, about 15 foot to the side, pulled out a big handsaw blade. So, oh, that's nice. That's got a little decoration on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up, see if I can read it, unless you can read it. Uh, um, it says USA. Ooh, that's close to where we are. Yeah, that is close to where we are. <laughs> Boston. I think it says Boston. Man, how you see that's pretty right? cool. That's a cool saw blade, man. You can probably get a date on that. Give really? us an idea of where we're at. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, that's cool, man. And then there was the grommet that may say something after I clean it up. Oh, there again, yeah. we're still just trying to piece the pieces of the puzzle together to what actually was going on here couple of clues for sure though no it says diston d-i-s-s-t-o-n hmm. usa and it's got a little scales on it that's cool if anybody knows what that scales is scales of Can... justice bullet after bullet in here these look to be like they're 45 caliber uh not for sure though hard to tell if they have a copper jacket because they're not cleaned up i'm still thinking that these could be pre-world war one but i may be wrong y'all let me know in the comments below just to give you an idea of where we're at, right there is the big ditch that we found that could be the race for the, or the trough for the waterway for a possible mill. Could be a spot where a mining cart ran. We still don't know exactly what that is, 
Exploring Alabama's up above me digging on the, the flat spot where we thought we might have spotted a couple of privies. We found some really cool stuff, so there's got to be some coins here. So we're really looking for a coin. Hopefully we can find one before we get out of here. Had a slamming signal. <laughs> it's carabiner. What'd you get? Oh yeah, I know, right? He's digging all the bullets up there that he can find. Well, that's not what I was wanting to find, but I'm kind of on what looks like a blazed hiking trail, so it could make sense. And it's still functional, so that'll go on my backpacking gear. <laughs> I'll put it to use. So I got a huge iron signal right here. And I think that this is pretty conclusive that we can say that this was a mine. Because <laughs> that's a... Oh, that's, a that's an old one, too. It's heavy. God, that's it's heavy. Cool. That is a beast, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a wall hanger right there. But yeah, it's got sharp points on both ends. That was a rock breaker. So I bet you they were either when they made the road or when they were mining one. It's a heavy son of a gun, man. Oh my goodness, it is. You had to be a real man to swing that all day, didn't you? Yeah. It's pretty cool though. Let's put that in your back pocket. Yeah, that's <laughs> gonna be fun to carry out of here. <laughs> So we're making our way through these woods and all of a sudden we see a couple of two by fours over here next to a couple of big trees and it looks like it could have been some kids had a nice tree fort there at some point and i get a banging signal before i see the tree house remnants and here's what we got i don't know what they were making out of this but it's definitely interesting that's a pipe cutter taped to a piece of plastic with a pin piece and what looks like a maybe a 223 round in there I don't know it's got a bullet in the pipe cutter though and that's <laughs> probably not the safest thing they could have been doing for sure especially if they were trying to cut it open but i'm assuming they were pretending that that was something fun and throwing it from the fort you know a while back but still a very interesting find nonetheless is isn't it well guys we're at the end of the day it wasn't super productive but it was fun again i found more of these bullets than i could even count this isn't all of them i didn't empty out all of my pockets tons of what looked to be older 45s i don't know what these are y'all let me know by far from an ammunition specialist so i don't have a clue what that is my favorite find of the day though is going to be that pickaxe really cool it relates to the area and kind of seals the deal in my mind anyways that it was some type of mine or mining site going on there so i had fun i hope that y'all did hope y'all enjoyed tagging along if you're new to the channel i invite you to please subscribe and if you didn't already, drop a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next adventure.